Hey guys, welcome back to the next story of Mod Spotlight. Today I'm taking a look at a new mod from Liz, or Tetrified, and it is called More Map Options. It's a very cool looking map, uh, mod, sorry. And what it allows you to do is, uh, th there's more presets for Don't Starve now, so if you go to customize your world, you can go to, you just have to go past Lights Out, and you can have Archipelago, Ring, Hubville, uh, Biosphere, and Island Survival Challenge. So you can see if you, if you watch these, they are changing a lot of them there. And uh, I will show off all of them. Archipelago is a wormhole-centric island survival map, so we'll have a look at that one first. Alright, so here we are. I think it might have started this in summer, I could be wrong. Uh, let's just reveal the map there, and there you go. So, it's basically a bunch of little islands, and you can just wormhole around. There's, there's just tons of wormholes around. Well, I guess there might only be a couple per island. Oh, there's only one on this one. So yeah, you just wormhole around. <laughs> look at that. That looks pretty challenging. There you go, you can really see that there. Wow, look at that. Holy crap, what is <laughs> what is going on with this biome? Oh, we should go check that out. I'm gonna go find that. Oh, here we go. Wow, so <laughs> as soon as you come out, you got that guy. Um, look at this, this is nuts. Oh god, I'm supposed to be insane. Invincible, there we go. This is insane, look at this. So yeah, that's the archipelago world gen option. Let's go have a look at the other ones now. So the next one we'll look at is ring, which will either will generate either a large ring or a double ring, but apparently you can sometimes make a triple ring. So we'll have a look at that one. Alright, so here we are. We'll just reveal the map again. That's using mini tools, by the way. And we'll have a look at the map. And it looks like we've got a double ring there. Wow, it looks like the road kind of goes all along it. Yeah, so that, that one's fairly simple. There must be a big ocean in the middle then. Yeah, pretty giant ocean. So that's quite a simple one, but also very cool. Let's go have a look at another one. Next is Hubville, which is based on the game as a foot, uh, which I, I I would assume is a, a level from Adventure Mode. So this one, uh, it looks like you... S oh no, it's supposed to start in summer. Uh, sorry, it's supposed to start in winter. I'm not sure if it'll do that. It should. Um, but basically you start in winter in a resource-rich hub, and then it's just summer for the rest of it. <laughs> and uh, your goal is to go and grab the teleportato pieces from the dangerous lands outside and tame the world. So let's have a look at uh, this one, Hubville. All right, here we go. God, are these like burnt down? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so you start right next to... Oh, okay, so wow. So you start with the, the divining rod. God, look at that dusk. And I guess you open this to start winter. No. Okay, it didn't start winter, so I think that might be a bug. Uh, but we'll reveal the map. Oh god, yeah, this is just like the adventure mode one. Look at all those spiders there. Holy crap, so yeah, you have to go find all the pieces, and then... I'm not sure, do we start near the, um... The Taylor Potato thing? No, I don't think so. But this part is supposed to be quite resource rich, and you can see... You've got the berry bushes here, but are the pig things there? No, they're not actually, so you can just grab all these. That's pretty good, and then you uh, you go over here, is it right here? No, the spiders are just up here. So we'll go have a look at the spiders. The hundreds of hundreds of spiders. Wow, well, they start tier 3 as well. Nice. So yeah, it says in the on the, the mod page that it is supposed to start in winter. Um, but you, you can actually fix that for yourself when you're starting the world. You can just select Hubville and then change season start to winter. So that's Hubville. Let's go have a look at another one now. Next we have Biosphere, uh, which has each biome connected by a land bridge. World size Biosphere. Let's just have a quick look at this one. Looks like it might have started in summer again. And if we look at the map, wow. So yeah, it's got different biomes on these little islands. And... You basically just have to find the bridges to get across to the, other, to, to the other islands. There we go, there's the bridge off this one. Let's teleport across it. And then you're into a nice quarry uh, quarry area. So we just got one more left, that's Island Survival. Let's go have a look at that one. So Island Survival Challenge makes a tiny island with just enough to live on. Uh, it changes world size to tiny. Is that new? I'm not sure if there was tiny before. Uh, it doesn't look like it changes too much. We'll discard those. Yeah, I'm not sure if it changes too many settings, it just makes it really tiny. Alright, here we are on our tiny island. We've got a chest up there, we've got a tall bird up there. 
Uh, let's reveal, and holy crap. So, uh, that's it. My god. It doesn't even have the, the telepotato pieces, does it? So you do have to survive here. So we've got a nice starting chest. What's in our chest? Just some stuff. We've got that tall bird right there. Uh, where was the pig king? Pig king's up there, but you've also got a way to start winter right away if you, uh, if you want to. <laughs> I wonder if it always starts with the same things. Uh, I might respawn it to have a look. Because I'm very... Wow, look at all this stuff. I wonder if there's a... Are there going to be beefaloes on this? I'm not even sure. No, it doesn't... The, there wouldn't be anywhere for beefaloes to spawn. Wow, you can explore the whole island like this. Amazing. You got another, uh, another boon there. Just go all around the island. There's a pig. At least you got a pig. Wow, you got a walking cane. Nice. And where's that pig king? Here he is. Alright, I'm going to try respawning this one again, just because it'll be fun to see. Okay, so it looks like it always spawns the same biomes. We got a chest and a pig king again, but we didn't get the winter uh, chest trap. What's in this chest? Is it different? No, it's always the same stuff in the chest, which is interesting. Good thing you get the, the, the pine cones. Actually, are there trees in this by default? No, I don't think there are. Wow. So there you go, that is the awesome more maps mod by Liz. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Thank you guys for watching Don't Starve. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these mods. If you want to, you can click subscribe, and if you'd like, I guess you can hit like too. This has been a Jarda production. There's lots of other bits on the channel. If you click subscribe, I'll love you, and really, isn't that what everyone wants? I mean, you, you just want us to love you, right? And we, we want you to love us, which would be fantastic. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't like this video, so he doesn't like Don't Starve, right? Thank you for watching.